Hey guys. Have you heard it yet? What Sarah? Miriam is having a party today. It should be really cool. Really? Yes, everyone seems to be going. Why aren't we invited? I don't know. I'll talk to Miriam. I want to go to this party. Hi Miriam. What do you want, Lisa? I heard you're having a party today. Yes, that is correct. Can I come too? No, you're not invited. Why not? Only cool people are allowed to come. I'm cool. I tell you what. I'm going to make an exception. You can come to the party. Great, thanks Miriam. But only under one condition. I need you to bring me 50 euros. I can do that. But only if Samuel and Sarah are allowed to come too. Yes, no problem. Okay. See you tonight. Don't forget the money. So we're going to the party tonight? Yes, but we must bring 50 euros. And we need to talk to dad and mom. Talk to dad. I'll take care of the money. All right. Dad, I have a question. What's up, Lisa? There's a party tonight. Samuel and I want to go. A party? You're much too young for that. But the others go there too. I don't care what the others do. You're staying home. Understood? You're stupid. They're in front. It's Dad's room. I will take 50 euros from his wallet. Then I will look for a job. And put the money back in a few days. That is the perfect plan. Are you really going to do that to Lisa? I think it's a bit too harsh. Laura, she deserves it. I can't be with Marcus because of her. Did you get everything? Yes, here is the drink. Very good. My brother said it always works. It's going to be the most embarrassing evening of Lisa's life. We'll make sure of that. Lisa is really something. Did you hear her talking to me? I think you're being a bit too strict with the kids. I'm her dad. It's my job. I must be strict. Let them have a bit of fun. It is just important that they are back home at 20 hundred hours. Do you have the money, Samuel? Yes, it is here. Well done. Have you talked to Dad? Yes, but Dad is stupid. He doesn't want us to go to the party. What do we do now? We're going anyway. But then we get in trouble. Only if he finds out. What he doesn't know doesn't make him angry. What are you doing in my room? I've changed my mind. You can go to the party. But you must be back by 20 hundred hours. Thank you, Dad. You're the best. I will change for the party now. Wow, you look great. Have fun at your first party. Thank you, Mom. But remember, you must be back here by 20 hundred hours. Not a minute later. We will not mess up Dad, I promise. I'm looking out for Lisa. One more thing. Yes. Always watch your drinks. Under no circumstances should you drink from other glasses. We're not doing that. Don't be afraid, Dad. Then have fun at the party. They grow up so fast. Cool outfit, Sarah. Thank you. You look awesome, too. The party has already started. Come on, let's go in. 
Hi Miriam. Happy birthday. Do you have my money with you? Yes, it is here. Thank you, enjoy my party. The party is really cool. It's the best party I've ever been to. It's also the first one you've ever been to. I'm going to the bathroom for a minute. Okay, I'll see you soon, Lisa. Lisa is just going to the bathroom. When are you going to do it, Miriam? When she comes back, it's a good time. And you're sure that's what you want to do? Yes, stop asking. Look, Lisa is coming back. Phew, dancing really makes you tired. We must drink lots of water. I hope the kids are doing well. Don't worry so much. They'll be okay. It is already 1900 hours. They'll be back in an hour. They are reliable. You'll see that. Hey Lisa. I have a gift for you. Really? But it's your birthday. I'm a good host. What is the gift? Here, this is a special drink from Portugal. Thank you. Does it taste like cola? Yes, it is similar. Just drink it and you'll find out. Great, thanks. Lisa, remember Dad's words. You shouldn't drink that. Yes, but it's rude to refuse a gift. Besides, you can trust Miriam. Are you sure? Of course. What is supposed to happen? Well, whatever you say. Are you okay, Lisa? Yes, it's all good. The drink was super delicious. Thanks again, Miriam. Always a pleasure, Lisa. We're going to dance again. Somehow I don't feel well. My stomach hurts. How much longer will it take? It's almost time. Oh no, I really need to go to the bathroom. But I was just there. That doesn't make sense. I need to go to the bathroom quickly. I can't hold it anymore. Oh no, I peed on myself. I have to leave quickly. Before anyone notices. Look Miriam, it worked. Yes, you're right. All that's missing now is the cherry on the cake. We'll show it to everyone. Look guys, Lisa has peed in her pants. That is not true. Look at her pants. It's embarrassing. That is disgusting. Ugh Lisa. What is wrong with you? Ha ha ha. You're mean. Why did you tell everyone, Miriam? That is really mean. I can't help it. Lisa peed on herself, not me. We should go see Lisa. I'm sure she's not doing well. You're going to pay for that, Miriam. Come on guys. What is going on here? Do not let Lisa spoil the mood for us. Let's get on with the party. It is 8.15 p.m. The kids aren't here yet. Give them a few more minutes, honey. I'm sure they're right there. If they're not there in five minutes, they are in real in trouble. Do you see Lisa anywhere? No, I don't see her. Do you have any idea where she might be? She probably ran away. Because she was so embarrassed about the whole thing. Then we'll have to find her. Poor Lisa is all alone. I have an idea where she might be. Sarah, come with me. Thankfully, I'm not at the party anymore. That was really embarrassing. I don't know how that happened. I just want to go home. I think I just need to go straight ahead. 
Can you believe what happened to Lisa? She is not like that usually. Well, I don't know her that well. But that was really embarrassing. And disgusting. Yes, you're right. Tell me, are you actually still together? Yes, but things haven't been going so well for a long time. Oh, really? What a shame. It is 8.30 p.m. That's enough now. I'm going to the party. Samuel and Lisa are in for something. Please stay calm, honey. Stay calm? I didn't want them to go to the party from the start. You've got us into this mess. Now I have to pay for it again. What are we doing here? Lisa must have gone in that direction. Yes, but I don't see her anywhere. There are footprints. They lead into the forest. It must be Lisa. Let's follow in the footsteps, Samuel. Shall we dance together, Marcus? Wow, you're really good at dancing. Thanks, Miriam, you too. Your outfit is nice too. Do you think so? In fact, I always wear the same thing. Yes, you look great. What are Samuel and Lisa thinking? I'm sitting at home and I'm worried. While they're at some party? That is the last party they both went to. Hey Lisa, is everything okay? It's the worst day of my life. How did that happen? You went to the bathroom just before that. I don't know. I drank this weird drink from Miriam. And then... Then what? All of a sudden I had to go to the toilet urgently. Is that normal? No, there is something not adding up here. Do you think Miriam put something in your drink? Yes, that is exactly what I mean. We'll get back at her for that. The first thing we need to do is find out if it's true. Then we will get back at her. We've got to get back to the party. Phew, that was exhausting. You can say that out loud. I really enjoy spending time with you, Marcus. Me too, Miriam. We should eat ice cream together. That is a good idea. Laura and Miriam are to blame for everything. They are going to pay for that. Here is the party. Now the two are in real trouble. What did you do, Miriam? Look, it's the bedwetter again. You put something in my drink. I don't know what you're talking about. Why am I to blame for you not having your bladder under control? I'm going to beat you up. Lisa, Samuel, what's going on here? You should be home by twenty hundred hours. I'm sorry, Dad. You're coming home right now. We are not finished. Marcus, are you coming with me? No, I'm going to stay here a bit longer. I'll keep you company, Marcus. Bye, Lisa. How are we supposed to prove that Miriam tricked me? We have no evidence. Yes, we have. What do you mean? I stole the drink. And what do we do now? I'll drink it and we'll see what happens. Are you sure? Yes. Let's go. And how are you? Not good. I have a stomachache. I need to go to the bathroom right now. So the drink still works? Yes, definitely. I know what we're doing. Miriam is giving a math presentation today, isn't she? I think so. What are you up to, Lisa? 
I'm giving her a sip of her own medicine. Thanks again for inviting me, Miriam. The party yesterday was really cool. I'd love to, Marcus. It's great that you came. Well, look who's there. If it isn't Lisa the bedwetter. You fooled me, Miriam. You'll regret that. Do you have any proof of that? I probably don't think so. I don't need proof. I know what you've done. You're making up fairy tales again, Lisa. Now leave me alone. I want to talk to Marcus, not you. A few drops are enough. That should be enough. I've gotta go now. My presentation is about to start. Until later, losers. Are you ready for your presentation, Miriam? Yes, Mr. Coons. I'm just having a quick sip of water. I'm going to tell you something about Albert Einstein today. Albert Einstein was. Oh no, what is that? What happened to Albert Einstein, Miriam? I can't hold it anymore. Look guys. Miriam peed on herself. How embarrassing. That is really disgusting. What is Miriam giving a talk about? A. Elon Musk. B. Nikola Tesla. C. Albert Einstein. Write a comment. <laughs>